All right, so here we go with round one. And on one side, clearly the more well-rounded fighter. Yet when we sat down with him on Thursday, first words out of his mouth, he ain't going to submit me. I'm going to try to take him down. Oh, my goodness. Wow. And you laugh just like that because you know how much of a joke this is. You want to avoid the grappling with this guy at all costs. I know he has bravado. I know he has a big ego. But it would benefit him to fight this fight and make it as easy as possible. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Able to check the high kick. Oh, you can hear the whack from here as he lands another leg kick in D.C. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg. He's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop him. John, stop him. <laughs> Head kick, partially blocked. Big, powerful punch land. Now we get back to range. I mean, the hand speed, just absurd. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just a slip there. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Head kick is Jeff. It's blocked. Beautiful knee. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. And both guys really throwing with authority. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Nice punch lands over the top. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Continues to mix it up, going to the head. Oh! Huge right hand! Game of inches right there, bro. How oh. about those front nets? All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But we Round two underway. Real sneaky body. Lands a big elbow there. Knee to the body. Good right hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. And he eats a right hand there. Yes. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high and building here in this next round. Confidence is... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact... Oh! Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Blocks that strike. 
the strike lands there, but doesn't do a ton of damage because the fighter's cooked. Yeah, he's done. He's thrown everything with it with absolute power. And now it does not matter how many times you jam on that X button, it will not do any damage. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and oh! getting back up. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. All right, so he's got his head here, looking to set up the guillotine choke now. Oh, nice guillotine there. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there, just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? Third, Third round ball. underway. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Hey, hey, hey. Give me some pumps. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Some nice back and forth action here. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice punch there. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Massive head kick. Big elbow. Oh! Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Pretty good right hand. Attempts the front kick there. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here. There. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Big head kick. Start to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these Whoa! beautiful legs. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Huge right hand! Oh, oh! Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Closed guard. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. He's got his guard passed. Now 
right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 30-26. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Corey Sandhagen!